At last, finally, Telegram came up with group video call feature, which is very, very much most awaited feature. So using this feature, you can make video calls with your friends and family. And as well as you, you can replace paid application like Google Meet, Zoom, Skype or any other meeting application which you are going to use with your office work, remote work, work from home. You can do it with Telegram absolutely for free and initial stage Telegram support maximum up to 30 people for group video call also you can share your screen like if you are doing any project in your work from home you can share your screen and show your project so everything in details i am going to talk about in this video how you can get this feature which version telegram support this video call group video call feature i will show you how you can do it with your pc linux windows and as well as android mobile phone Without further delay, let's jump into this video. First of all, let me talk about the version. In Android, here you can see 7.8.0 onwards, it supports group video call 7.8.0. Do update from your Play Store or here you can see in the desktop version 2.8 so whether it is linux or windows your desktop application version should be 2.8 and above so why telegram there is lots of options is available whatsapp facebook google meet zoom skype because telegram is open source and it is privacy friendly so they do not track you they do not show you advertisement and they do not sell your data for their profit so that's why telegram is very very much powerful application here you can see you can update it from play store so they already shared on blog how telegram video call works so let me show you how you can do it so first of all click on the three dot menu on the back side then click on new group or create group here you can see i am showing right now in android so here you can see your contact list will be there either you have to add them in contact first then you can add them in group or either you can give their username add direct then username so i have already one user who is my contact and other users are giving their username so it is not mandatory to have all the group members to in your contact list or your mobile contact list you just have to know their user id so after that just give the group name after adding all the people and good to go another thing is that if you click on the pencil icon in the group chat in the bottom here you can see private and public so if it is private by default it will be private group so there is join chat link is there like zoom meeting or any other application just share the link with email with your colleagues with your friends family students everywhere and they can join to this group directly via clicking that link so it is a very very much useful feature another thing is that in the administrator you can be anonymous administrator so you can remain anonymous and give any fake name or group name so your original who is the original admin of the group nobody can know so that is very good thing another thing is that click on the three dot menu in the right side and you can clear the chat automatically disabled 24 hours or seven days so i have enabled it will clear the chat history of this group in every seven days so any message which is older than seven days will be automatically deleted to start the voice chat first of all click that three dot menu and click on voice chat here you can see you can join using your group name or your username or basically the telegram personal account so you can join here you can see it is first of all will be started as a voice group chat or voice chat so after that there is a camera option is there so here you can see other members are still joining so in my other mobiles i am just joining to this group so here you can see right now three people another people left so total will be four people one people will be in desktop and other three will be in android so here you can see all the members right now joined so let me show you how the video call works so as you can see mute and unmute voice call is absolutely there so directly there is voice group video call option is not there but the name is the voice chat and then share your camera also you can share your screen so let's start sharing the screen before that i am showing that interface mute and unmute here you can see and you can pop up or pop out in the overlay in your android you can also do this you can minimize and in background you can also do this so every option is there and this is very very much useful no advertisement is there no subscription is there so in the desktop just in the group 
chat window there is join button is there if the video voice chat is going on or video chat is going on click on join and here you can see all the members you are showing and you have been successfully joined so here i have created a virtual webcam using obs studio here you can see i'm just playing my one of the old youtube videos here and just click the start virtual camera and here you can see that virtual camera or basically it's just say for it it is a webcam so here you can see you are right now feeding your video or webcam feed in the group chat of telegram from your desktop so the user interface here you can see there is the camera option is there mute unmute option is there end call option is there and share screen option is there and again a setting icon is that you can setting here you can see you can disable enable you can change the source of the mic and the speaker and here you can see by default noise suppression basically the background noise cancellation software feature is enabled inside telegram so if you do not have a good driver for noise cancellation you can do it noise cancellation here inside your telegram in the Mobile right now you can see also noise cancellation is available there and here you can see the computer feed here you can you can see in the full screen so in the right side the member list will be there you can scroll up and down and here you can see you can also start your own camera or basically front or back camera you can switch also there and start camera video as soon as you click on start camera video your mobile camera video will be feeded in your group chat here you can see it is my computer feed and it is my present view or my com own com mobile camera feed and other member who is not sharing the camera or screen their name or the profile picture will be there in the very big icon so here you can see in side by side window three people right now feeding their video and you can also click that video and can zoom to particular one people and see their what they are sharing in big screen so it is a very much thumbs up you can do it in your android tv your tablet in your PC everywhere you can do it and you can click that user and it will be zoom in so full screen view will be for that particular user and there is by default one option is there who is in in saying mode or who is just talking it will be automatically shifted to that so every other muse user are muted and suddenly one people start talking it will be automatically switched to that user that this people is right now talking or speaking so auto speaking mode switching is there here you can see in all window you can see all the thing another thing is that you can select the audio output as there was in desktop you can do it in speaker or earpiece and noise suppression is also available by default ac activated you can share screen you can start recording if you are admin of the group you can record all the session of the video call that's pretty much thumbs up if you are doing any tutorial or webinar you can just record it and you can share later in the social media like youtube facebook any other places so just recording interview you can take and record it and then in the letter you can share it another pretty much thumbs up thing is that there is no watermark logo is there you can do skype zoom any other application there will be watermark because it is open source there is no watermark that's pretty much thumbs up i can say no watermark no advertisement nothing so here you can see i am sharing another android mobile screen right now so this is very much good in the side means you automatically blurred here you can see who is speaking automatically switching so here you can see automatically it switch back to who is in speaking the top pop-up will come the name that that person is speaking and automatically it switch back to that user video feed to disable it or manually switching just click one user and there is a pin option is there pin in the top right corner here you can see pin if you pin that that compute that video feed or the webcam feed will be fixed it will not automatically switch after their hours as soon as you change it you can change manually change it so here you can see this is the desktop ui how you can see three people right now is there so to one by two and half and three people in this so you can switch it you can switch the view up so they are or basically this window or screen splitting is basically automatically they are doing app on the basis of their video feed accept, accept ratio and this way you can zoom any video right click just clicking that and the video feed will be zoom in and if you're watching all the feed then it will be there so here you can say i'm not right now going to start the screen share from computer and this will give my option to full screen share or particular single application window share so here you can say i'm only going to share my brief browser or web browser i'm not gonna share full screen all the screen element so that will be very much thumbs up if you are doing any conference or in office work suddenly if you are going to open any personal 
file or images in your computer my computer here you can see i have just opened the this pc window but the video feed is not changed from the browser because it is fixed at the browser only browser window whatever say sharing is there will be visible to the group video call that's pretty much thumbs up and this is very much useful feature for the work from home remote work conference meeting very much useful thing so here you can see how it is so in this way you can do video call group video call absolutely free no tracking no advertisement no watermark telegram logo is there and up to 30 people you can do right now but i'm sure they are going to increase the number of people very soon in this future or maybe later in this year as already telegram said that's all in this video if you have any question and query and facing any problem doing the telegram video call do let me know in the comment section and i want to mention one thing if you are still not getting this feature from play store update you can manually update from telegram.org or just wait one week do let me in the comment section if you are going to switch from the other apps like paid apps like zoom google meet skype or any other application to telegram for your office work personal work group chat or not thanks a lot for watching this video see you soon in my next video till then goodbye take care and subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos like this